Israel's kind of an island. There's only 7 million people in Israel, and those companies really struggle often to scale by getting outside of Israel. So we started a pilot program last summer called Dream at Israel. And the concept behind that was the company was, would spend a month in Israel, and then they would come into the New York program for three months. And it was a huge success. In fact, as Kerry said at the beginning, we're extending that and we're using that again uh, this year. We're doing that again this year in the New York program. But we also started to build a pretty good brand in Israel, and we, at the Austin program, we had a number of Israeli applications, and one that caught our eye uh, instantly is uh, up next. And it was a good example of a great team, but a good example also of a cr truly deep technology that we think can change the world. And with that, I give you Yevo. Who here has a Facebook account? Who here found himself in the past two weeks flicking through 10 or 15 photos of some random friend on Facebook that he doesn't know? Well, I'm Ben from Yevo. I'm in Israeli, so excuse my accent. And I'm the biggest voyeurist in this room. <laughs> Let me take you back. I want to take you back to 1960, the first presidential debate. John F. Kennedy versus Richard Nixon. And that was the first presidential debate that broadcasted live. And the only reason John won, and everybody will tell you that, is because John used this medium, the intimacy of the medium of live video, to contact and to interact with his audience. And that's the only reason he won. This is what we do in Yevo. We believe in live video. The power of live video is in the feelings of drama, anticipation, uncertainty, this unfiltered intimacy that we have with audience. So I'm, I'm, I want you to think through all the moments that you go in, in your life and how thrilling and more exciting they would be if you broadcast them, if people couldn't share them in real time. I want you to imagine it's Saturday morning and you are in a boring conference room in Texas, what's the odds, 11 o'clock, you listen to somebody talking, and suddenly, look at your phone, it's vibrating. Ben Rubin has just gone live from Austin, Texas, and you push one button, and then, and then in that button, you see one of your friends broadcasting his child's first, uh, first step. Think about this baby's first step, and you are there at real time, and it's not just you. It's another 30, 40 people just tuning into this beautiful moment, and it's right now, and it's live or never. So this moment, it's much more exciting and thrilling than seeing it even five minutes after of baby photos later. So this is basically what we do. Um, we believe that the next generation of, sh of social, and everybody's talking about the next generation of social, what's going to be. And with time, we're getting more and more accessible, more and more mobile, and more and more, the cellular infrastructure is getting more and more steady and reliable. And the next generation of social is not about sharing, it's about participating. It's about participating in our friends' best moments in real time, and we're not talking about three three people that you're doing conference with. We're talking about 100, 200, 300 uh, people that you can tune in with just a single click. So, after I say the vision. <laughs> Basically what we do, we are a mobile to mobile platform. You press one button, everybody that follows you, it could be 100, 200 people, 1,000 people, instantly push live video through the mobile. And it's live or never. You can only watch it when it's live. This is the difference between participating than sharing. So we target that moment that in our daily routine, we are at the supermarket, we are walking our dog, we are eating dinner with friends, but we can tune in, in all around the world, to other people's special moments, even when we do groceries. All right, and stuff there. <laughs> um, it's not just a dream. Yesterday we finished a very successful closed beta of 300 users, and we sampled 100 users that were the least 
close to the founded team. And the results were um, quite amazing. Yevo is addictive. It's really addictive. When you know it's live or never, it's addictive and we can see it. 100 users consume 3,000 minutes of live video a week. That's an average of five minutes per day. That's two times than all video consumption by average users in all of their sites of AOL, three times than the videos that you guys consume on Facebook. And the thing is that after five weeks, the first week I will install Yevo in your device, you will be open one out of five notifications. And these 100 users, more than 90% of them, they are having jobs and they are above 23. After four weeks, we'll open four out of five notifications. That's an addiction. So, <laughs> so uh, we, are proprietary, uh, we have proprietary technology. We're patent pending. We're doing light models to broadcast live video through mobiles. And this quality is in the quality you never seen in live video in mobile. And we use protocols that help us to produce this live video. We can use it not just to any types of mobiles, just also to TV stations and web, and of course, streamers you have at home. Yes, we also have vision to stream into your living room. So um, I'll close with a small story. We were being uh, rejected twice in the past uh, week, and we were working hard for this out by. We talked with Apple, and we resubmitted on Wednesday. And yesterday, in Friday, they sent me an email. We understand your urge. And after four hours, we are now live in the App Store. You can log on and write get.yevo.com. Straightly get you to the App Store. And we already, I think Itai, my CDO, is there. I think we are registering without any press, any clue, any, nothing. I'm speaking Hebrew. Uh, <laughs> We are registering 10 users per minute right now. So just tap into get.yevo.com, download it, watch the live videos, and have fun. <laughs> <laughs>